Hey guys, Duct Tape Digger here, and I'm bringing y'all my first episode actually here on MapleCraft. It's a faction server that my faction Chum Bucket has been playing recently, and uh, I thought I'd start recording on here. I've been playing without recording for a little while now, and I uh, just thought I'd start recording for a bit because, uh, well, I thought y'all might enjoy it. I don't know how long the series is going to last, but I, I hope a good while because uh, it looks like a fun server to me so far, and uh, my faction's having a lot of fun, so looks like it'll work out pretty good for us. Anyways, so uh, I guess first things first, I do have, uh, my faction's given me a perks for slash near and a no drown perk, so we're going to probably redeem these here in a minute. I really don't have that OP of stuff besides uh, just like the one time stuff. And, uh, I do have a, lo a bit of money. I think I have, like, 1.9 mil. Yeah, I have, like, 1.9 mil. Uh, I got my alts AFKing with spawners and stuff. And, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you all the base. And, uh, oh, by the way, I did do the roof art. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll be at the base in a second for y'all. Okay, guys, here we are. So, over here, we just have a ton of blaze spawners. And, uh, yeah, we got, well, I don't know how many we have, but we have a bunch of blaze here. By the way, just so you know, on this server, when you just immediately go into faction, you have fly. So, I think that's a really nice uh, perk on the server, and uh, really makes it nice, I guess you could say. Uh, over here, we have a ton of creeper spawners. I don't know exactly how many. I guess around 50 creepers right here. Uh, I got, I think I have my alts on it, or maybe I don't. I thought I had my alts on it. Maybe I don't. I got Asian over here, AFKing, uh all of these by the way asian is uh, an old friend of mine and i think he's quit minecraft although maybe he'll come back someday and uh, he'll join me in some episodes maybe he's a pretty cool guy he's a pretty cool guy sorry jeez english uh and then we also have about 50 endermen over here which are pretty op as well and then we have our igs right here i'm not sure how many we have i'm gonna go ahead and make a quick guesstimate of like 20 and then uh we have about five or six uh villager spawners over here which is also pretty op since they're extremely rare i think you can only get them from crates uh which some of my faction members have bought uh well that's a quick tour of what all of our spawners are anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all uh the collection area here in a second uh which is actually down below here as you would probably presume and uh so over here i think is gonna be the creeper yeah, so we have a bunch of gunpowder here, which uh, I think we used to craft TNT. And then uh, over here should be the villager, which uh, makes a lot of money. Uh, just because emeralds sell $150 each. And, uh, well, actually just trying to figure out where the IG loot goes. Oh, wait, it goes right here. Okay, they set it up kind of weird, but uh, this is where all the IG loot goes. We got a, a decent amount here. I think it fills this one first, so I'm not sure exactly what... Uh, tokens are but we do have 27 iron golem heads here and a decent amount of iron i'm not actually sure what iron sells for um i guess we can look real fast it sells for 20 dollars each so i'm not exactly sure how much this will sell for but let's go ahead and make an estimated guess of like 100 grand 150 grand probably and then i don't know what uh, slash tokens does so, so let's actually find out token shop slash token shop oh here we go Okay, so you can get crate keys. Oh wow, you need like three or four thousand, five thousand tokens. But that's really cool that you can get crate keys without actually spending any money. You can also get the Beast and Prosperity G kit for also ten, like ten thousand. And you can get ranks. So later on in the map, this may be how I manage to get a rank uh, is by using these tokens to get one. Uh, although at the moment I'm not gonna be taking these because I don't know uh, if they would be mad at me or not if I used those tokens or not. Um, but uh, here's the Enderman, which gets sold very often because uh, people like the diamonds sell for a lot of money. The Ender pearls don't sell that great, but they do sell pretty well. And uh, I'm sorry guys, but that's actually gonna be the end of the base tour, except for the roof, which I'll show y'all in a second. Okay, guys, here we are. We're on Chum Bucket's roof, or my roof, or our roof, our roof. Let's put that way, our roof. And, uh, 
There's my uh, chum bucket design. I like it. it it's kind of just a, for the lols. Uh, we do have a lot of our walls gen, and uh, we have a lot of our filters got in, but uh, they're not done yet, obviously. Um, I think we're doing obby filters here, and uh, we got a sand checkbox here, and then uh, we still got more walls to do, but raining is not enabled until Saturday, so that should be pretty good. I think we're going to be definitely done, or very close to done with everything, including the filters by Saturday, and uh, I think we're going to be a pretty good faction on here. Anyways, guys, now we're going to go redeem those perks that I did have, and then we're going to see what they can do real fast. Hey, guys, we're here. Uh, we did find our perks in our e-chest that spawn over here. So we do have the Slash Near and the No Drown perks, so this is going to be really helpful for when I'm printing and filters or hand placing. I think we have to hand place the obby ones. So... Yeah, I think that this is going to be very helpful, and uh, let's uh, just go ahead and redeem them. Uh, I, I hope that worked. Uh, do I have a slash near? I do. I have slash near. Let's go, guys. And then it says command is not allowed. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's kind of weird. But uh, anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and test out this no drown perk, and uh, I'll be right with you. Okay, guys, here we are. We're testing out this no drown perk. Uh, hopefully I don't manage to die. I'm pretty sure I won't since I do have 32 god apples on me. Uh, but I'm just here flying in our, um, I guess you could say where we're going to have the obby walls in. And uh, I'm just going to see if I can actually drown or not. Uh, hopefully this uh, no drown perk actually works and uh, we'll be good. So far so good. We're not drowning and uh, we have not ate a god apple. We're not taking any damage. So... Uh, from these results, I've figured that, uh, well, the no drown perk does work. Anyways, guys, that's probably going to wrap up this episode. I don't really have any base work recorded for y'all, so, or I would show that here. Um, and I'm not exact. we can't really raid anyone right now. And, uh, next episode we'll probably go to a Akoth, but right now most of my faction is actually AFK, or grinding spawners and stuff, so they're probably not ready to go PvP. And, uh, honestly, if I just go out there alone, I'm going to die. So it's best if I do it with my faction. So whenever uh, I'm on in my factions, I'll go into the Koth. I'll go ahead and record that for y'all. And uh, hopefully that'll make for some longer episodes and some that y'all will enjoy more possibly. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next MapleCraft episode. Bye.